We are ready for the virus as well. We got wood, we got plants, we got so much. Well, there's no plants. I mean, look at it in here. Holy moly's. And look at this right here. You can see it from a mile away. It's right here. It's all camouflaged. And this right here is a giant nest. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today is another day here at the ranch. It's a beautiful day and my cichlids are hungry. The call dogs are hungry. The pond's looking great and there's still no plants here. Well, we gotta get that done soon, but it's a process here. It doesn't happen overnight. We're not rich and we're having a very big problem right now with the whole entire world with the coronavirus. And if you guys are not subscribed and a lot of you guys are not, hold on, hold up, hold up. there we go. Um, watch time minutes, not subscribed, subscribed. Uh, not subscribed 56% and only subscribed 46%. Let's make it equal or higher subscribed here at the end. So make sure you guys subscribe. Do it. Do it right now. Subscribe. You guys are home. You're not doing anything. Go get subscribed. Anyways, let's grab some pellets and bam. These freaking cichlids are on deck with feeding. They freaking are amazing. They're doing great. Even the little tilapia that are down there too, that pink old face. Call dogs are like, what the heck? But today, I know. We've been doing a bunch of different things here. We are ready for the virus as well. We got wood, we got plants, we got so much. Well, there's no plants. Dirt, bricks, all kinds of things to get projects done here at the ranch to show you guys, put those post notifications on. Let's keep on walking and see what's going on on the ranch as well. So let's do it. Big G, if you guys didn't see the last video, we made a brand new enclosure for him right there and he is doing great. Let's come back this way. I just fed all of the turtles and tortoises, so they should be out right now and eating and enjoying some of their fruits and vegetables. So let's see who's out and who's about doing the thing. Holy moly, so look over here. It's a freaking mess here. It's bulk pickup coming soon. We just pile stuff up in corners and pick it up. But look over here, the yellow foot herd is all out enjoying some fruits. We gave them some papaya, some peaches, some plums, all different types of produce and everyone is out and enjoying some stuff. And actually, this is a sea grape tree and then behind it is a guava tree. And I see down in the corner right over there, there are guavas falling down. So natural fruits that just fall down off the tree that the turtles could eat. But uh, let's keep on going and see what other turtles are out and about as well. Look at that. So we got some wood turtles right here eating some fruits. Well, that's more lettuce and some banana and stuff. They're just hanging out. The other ones are over there. We moistened it all up so it's nice and fresh. Turtles are inside the brand new ponds. They're living life. It's so hot out here. They have no idea that anything's happening in this world. They're just living their life. Living life. Let's move on over here. We fed in here as well. And I mean, look at it in here. Holy moly's. Tortoise herd of oh, tortoise herd. Burmese black mountain tortoises in here. Cherry headed tortoises in here and elongated tortoises in here all mixed together in a beautiful uh, habitat they're all young except the elongated they're just about size to start laying some eggs but um other than that i'm gonna go show you guys the capybara pond it hasn't rained here it's like a freaking drought here and it has dropped a lot so look out inside of here the gucci gang's in here missy's in here kate barons and the one lone peahen that's in here as well that we rescued everyone's doing good where is Thing two, thing two, thing two, thing two. Thing two is the male that's thing up. Oh, there he's hiding in the very tall grass up here. But look how low the water has gotten. The water's supposed to be all the way on the top of this rock up here, but it has dropped a lot. It hasn't rained at all. The water is just very, very low, and it looks disgusting. But it's a swamp, and it's going to be getting done soon. So, Greg, if you're watching this, May, May. We need to have this thing done, and we're gonna make this thing in a beautiful aquascape ecosystem for all different types of exotic animals. So stay tuned for that, but let's keep on moving. came to the other side of the pond and over here 
Um, I wanted to show you guys a nest that I found the other day and it's right here. It's all camouflage and this right here is a giant nest of the Gucci gang. Um, they smell fine. They look fine. But don't know if they are fertile or not. I'll let them sit there. Who knows what's going to happen. Maybe one of them will hatch it out. But I'm not trying to hatch any more farm ducks here at all. So they hatch, they hatch, or they don't hatch, they don't hatch, and the ground takes over it. But talking about eggs, let's head inside the barn over there. I haven't picked up eggs for a couple days, and there's probably a ton of eggs, so let's go check it out. We just came inside where the goats and the chickens are at, so we're gonna go to where the eggs are at, so let's head over there and grab some eggs. And look at that. Remember I told you guys not too long ago that the turkeys are probably gonna start laying soon? They might start laying soon, I don't know. Grab over here. Then the baby donkey before we check that out. Little ass is doing great as well as you can see. He's living his life. He got his all his little trees and stuff. He's looking great. Right? Everyone's doing good. But let's get back to the eggs. Move Gotti. Oh. <laughs> yeah, me too. Let's come over here. Let me grab my little my little egg thing and my mama got me. Oh that's cute. It's cute, right? It's a little egg basket. My mom said I need to use it from now on. Instead of putting it in my shirt, use a little egg basket. It's cute. So let's go inside here. Check it out. Oh my goodness, that's not a good sign. We got three hands looking at a nest of chickens. And we got a silky right there. That's where that silky's been at. Let's check her out. Let's see how many eggs she's on. Hey, Missy. Little black silky. You got anything right there? Are you going to hatch some baby silkies out for me? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, you're doing you're doing a good job. <laughs> no eggs. You keep sitting there. All right. Let's go. Oh, look at this, you guys. Look at this. So I was just explaining to you guys a few seconds ago, and we said it in a video probably eh, a couple days ago, maybe a week ago. We said the turkeys were laying eggs, well, breeding. And I said in about a week they're gonna lay eggs. And look at this right here. I can see it from a mile away. I bred and hatched turkeys many, many times, and we might do it again. We might not. But look at this right here. You can tell the difference between turkey eggs very, very easily. They're very pointed like that. They look like a, a water droplet compared to normal chicken eggs that you see right here. Normal chicken eggs. These right here are bantam eggs. So these are the small little chickens, the egg layers, and then right here, three perfect little turkey eggs. They could be a little bit bigger, but it's the first time mothers and the mothers are young. It's the first time laying eggs. And right here, as you guys can see, we have these little polka dotted eggs. If I put these in the incubator, I give it a 95% chance that every single one of these will hatch because they are breeding up a storm. But, like I said about the Gucci Gang eggs, I really don't want to hatch out any turkey eggs. So we might do a, um, what's that called? Omelette cook, turkey cook, turkey egg cook. Maybe we'll do that. If you a guys hatch and cook. Hatch and cook. It's We're not going to hatch them. Oh, We're going to eat them. A lay and cook. Lay and cook. Like they lay and then we eat it. Like that kind of deal. <laughs> but yeah, we can't cook them. Like that would be disgusting. We're not doing that. But um, maybe we'll just let them sit for a couple days. If they lay probably every other day, so they've been here for probably one, two, three, probably like six days now every other day, unless both hens are laying, I'm not too sure. But we got turkey eggs, that is pretty freaking dope. Um, a lot of different animals here are laying at the ranch. Winter is pretty much gone, so now we just have spring. Well, spring, summer's coming. So everything is laying, it's the time for animals to lay. But look at that, let's collect all of these other eggs. Eggs lay all the time. All these are completely fertile. We have two male roosters here. We have a brand new Rhode Island Red. And then we have as well as that black um, Hampshire or something kind of egg uh, chicken over there. My God, that's that's nasty looking. Those are going to have to get cleaned. The turkey eggs, I will leave them here so that... Grab a little bit. Clean that up over there. Leave those here so the turkeys keep on laying. And we'll see how many eggs they will lay in about a week. So if you guys are not following me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram, do that, because I post stories about these as well. But um, let's bring these to my mother and see what her face is to some of these eggs. Let's do it. I'm gonna get my mom's impression on the beautiful Corona virus-free eggs. They got, I think, that looks that looks pretty healthy. Look pretty healthy, organic, better than the virus people touching their eggs. Let's go inside. Bye! Hey! I got you organic, very, very healthy chicken eggs right here. They're virus free. They're very, yeah, they are. Look. That needs to like get clean though. They're healthy. They're organic. Yeah, you don't have, have to go to the store. Yeah, but they have poopy. Can we cook them up? Yeah, but not right now. You got to clean them. Oh, all right. They have to be clean eggs first on the outside to then cook 
you know, the inside. Oh, is it? Yes, 100%. We got turkey eggs. I said we should just hard boil them like that. Ew. Well, you see it. <laughs> I think so. I'll throw the turkey eggs in there too. I don't know. Give this video a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody.